Welcome back to a second video on arc length. I thought we should take a look at one more example. Let's start by looking at our formulas for arc length again. Notice to apply the formula we do have to find the derivative of the function and then square it as we see here. And the same is true if the function is defined in x equals g of y. So let's go ahead and take a look at another example. We want to determine the arc length of this function on the interval from one to e. The interval would be from here. So we want to find the arc length on this interval. So the first thing we need to do is find the derivative and then square it. Well, the derivative of x squared divided by eight, we multiply by two and then subtract one from the current exponent. That would be one fourth x minus one over x. Now we have to square this. So the first product will be one fourth x times one fourth x. That'll be one sixteenth x squared. Now one fourth x times negative one over x, the x's will simplify out and we're left with negative one fourth. And then we have another negative one fourth from this product, so that's gonna be minus one half. And then negative one over x times negative one over x will be positive one over x squared. So now we do have the derivative squared Let's go ahead and apply the arc length formula. Our interval is from one to e. And we'll have the square root of one plus the derivative squared, which we just found as one sixteenth x squared minus one half plus one over x squared. Let's go ahead and combine the like terms. We have a one and then a minus one half. So we'll have one sixteenth x squared plus one half plus one over x squared. Now it may not look like it, but this is actually a perfect square. One fourth x times one fourth x would give us one sixteenth x squared. And one over x times one over x would equal one over x squared. Remember as we showed over here when we had a difference, when we multiply one fourth x times one over x that would equal one fourth. And we'd have two of those products and one fourth plus one fourth does equal one half. So if you want to check this you can go ahead and multiply it out but that is true. So this simplifies nicely to just one fourth x plus one over x. So now we can finally integrate. This would be one fourth times x squared over two plus natural log x. We need to evaluate this at the limits of integration. Notice this would be one eighth x squared plus natural log x. Let's go ahead and take this over to the next screen and continue. So first we'll replace x with e. And then with one. So here we'll have e squared divided by eight plus the natural log of e is equal to one. This would be one eighth. And natural log of one is equal to zero. Let's go ahead and combine the like terms. We have e squared divided by eight. One minus one eighth would be plus seven eighths. And this is approximately equal to 1.799. And again, this would be the arc length of this function from one to e. Okay, that'll do it for arc length. Thank you for watching.